Um, I'm in one of the schools in Pakistan. I have come and I'm doing a vlog um, just to see how the school system is, see how the kids study. Um, as you can hear in the background now, you've got the kids all reading or in school. I'll show you a quick, quick glance of what school I'm in. We've got four classes, okay? Each class has two teachers in there. Uh, and technically, they're basically two classes. It's not, it's not massive compared to what we have in the UK, uh, but they are, um, yeah, it's different. It's really different. Education's different. Um, but yeah. Good morning. Um, I'm in uh, Rasulnagar, um, the city of Rasulnagar. Job. I'm heading to a school, uh, one of the village schools, um, just to see maybe what the teaching's like there. So yeah, as you can see here, you can see all the kids making their way to school. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so it'll be a very interesting, interesting. So yeah, I'm with um, I'm with one of the teachers. Uh, um, so she, so she's going to actually show me. So she's going to actually show me what the school, what the the day of the school is like. So the time here is at the moment. It is roughly approaching about 8.30 um, and we are yeah, walking to school, I think it takes about, roughly about 10 minutes. So we are making our way to school in Rasulnagar, um, which is in the state of Gujarat. So that's where we are. We're in Pakistan at the moment. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be videoing the school day and see how the school, the education system compares with the UK. Um, I'm also going to be looking at some of the teaching. Um, how, 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 how the kids come into school and um, yeah I think it'll be an interesting experience for me so I've never been I've never been to a school never seen a school I've actually been invited to the school so we'll just see what the situation is so I'm just speaking to the guard now so he actually guards the school so I'm just going to approach the school and all the kids in the yard are actually playing so I'll just show you that now is it Oh, they're all excited. They're really, really, really excited. Um, so this is the government. Waalaikum salam. How are you? So the kids are all approaching me. So the kids are all lining up at the school. This is a primary school. So as you can see there. Okay, so it's really nice. All so the kids are smartly dressed, just like the schools in the UK. They are smartly dressed as well. Right, this is a classroom. Right, I'm just going to approach the classroom. Just going to give you a little bit of idea of what the classrooms are like. Okay, right here you are. I'm just going to just turn the camera around, show you the classrooms are. She's doing her homework. Is she doing her homework? Yeah. Homework. Yeah. She's doing her homework. Look, she's copying her homework. Okay, right, so look at the class here. So this is the teacher's desk. The teacher has a whiteboard. Okay, these are the chairs in these schools. So you've got, the, they're like benches. So we do get the things like this with the benches on them. So, um, wow, it's quite nice, actually. Better than what I expected. Um, so yeah, I'm really, um, <clears throat> yeah, quite impressed. So this is one of the teachers. I'm just gonna show you one of the teachers. Um, so she teaches five, year five. How many children are there? There are maximum 11 and 12 years old. Yeah, roughly around between 10 to 12 years old. So we'll teach the kids there. So we're going to come around later on and have a look at what they're teaching. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the school. Okay, this is year. This is one and two. So there's always two teachers in a class. So, whiteboard. Okay. You've got your books here. You've got some of the kids all there. Oh, one child really sat there. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, yeah, you've got your desks here. Same, same structure. So here you can see half of class desks are with this teacher and the other half of this. And if you look at the shape of the desks, they actually write on these. So you can actually see that they put the books here and they can write on the actual chairs themselves. Okay, so this is to show people, um, well, visitors really, when they come outside. It's like a welcome board. So I'm looking up there. Yeah, it's 
quite nice, isn't it? So, right, this year, this is class five. This is um, another class. Now, this is an office. Right, so this is a classroom, and then now you've got an office. So, you can see the office here, and you've got spare chairs and stuff, and you've got like a little we have filing cabinets where they've got like little drawers in here. So we get some little drawers. I'm a bit nosy. They've got supplies. Look at their supplies compared to the one we have. We have loads of supplies. It's similar to that anyway. So you've got hand sanitizers in there. You've got loads of other supplies. It's um, it's, yeah, it's a quite an interesting um, yeah, it's a quite interesting setup actually. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how the day goes. I will be keeping the video running. Um, and I'm gonna just, yeah, we we'll just see how the day runs. All the teachers at the moment are just um, straightening them up, ready to go into class. Ready? So. so what they're doing at the moment, they're singing the national anthem. Um, so before they go into, into this car classroom, they're singing the school anthem, so it's quite interesting to see. So it's quite awesome. I'm actually looking forward to going in now. Kids are heading into class now. Here they are, look. Skipping, so happy to be at school. So they are going to the prep room and the other lot are going to their own classrooms. Oh, swapping chairs. Right, the hustle and bustle of the day has started. We got kids loitering, look. We have this in the UK as well, some kids loiter. So, yeah, some things don't change with kids. I think, look, she's been taking us back into lesson. <laughs> That's normal. That's normal in British schools as well. So we get a lot of that in schools, in British schools as well, so that's quite normal. So right, I will pop into another class once I start the second lesson and then we'll just go and see what the other, the other lessons are. Walaikum <laughs> salam, oh, They're so polite, aren't they? All these kids are so polite, it's unreal. So this is a period one where the teachers are listening in. I'll show you. So I think one by one, if you look, the teacher is reading. Okay. Until, I think this is I think this is period one, so I think we're gonna do this for until not too short, sure, probably about another half an hour or so. Um, so yeah. That's your first period. Curriculum. I'm going to show you the curriculum. So they've got three lessons today. Uh, we've got two lessons of English and one lesson of general science and mathematics. So that'll be really interesting to see. So these are the books, as you can see. So you've got general science books there, given by the uh, the government. Okay, the Punjab government and English there is it. I will go through some of the context of this, as you can see here. Um, highlighted. We talk about grammar. Um, yeah. It's just words really, compound words, you get a lot of compound words, fill in the gaps, blanks. So they actually work through the books as well. They write in these books, so I can see loads of writing in the books. So the students actually purchase these books um, and then they write them. I think this is so actually, so if I'm correct, they're actually supplied by the school themselves. So the science curriculum is here. Okay. In UK schools are similar, as you can see, they talk about cells. Classification is the first topic there. Okay, so I want to focus on the science a little bit as well, so because that is my subject, as you know. So they are actually doing chemical and physical changes of matter. Um, they do diseases, so microorganisms. Um, they also do loads of. Yeah, you've got space in there as well, so you've got a bit of physics in there as well, which is quite nice to see, actually. Um, and also now, if you look in the books, they've got something like coronavirus in there, which probably will also start 
So this will also probably start working in the UK schools at some point with data and, and certain questions. So yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty good. So this is a, four, a year four for us, as we've got here, and then you've got year, year three there. These guys have got a test. As you can see, they're doing the test about my classroom. I'll show you some of the work. They're writing in English. And then that class there is doing a normal lesson. And they are also English. You've got English then you with spell. You've got key words in there. So they're learning English in this classroom here. Uh, where are these guys? They've got a test. I should try that at school as well, really. Got some of my kids to stand up and read and then get the other kids to follow. I don't know how that will go down. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting. Watch out, watch out. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm So they're doing science books at the moment and if you look at their science books, they're all in Urdu. So their science books are all in Urdu. I don't really understand it, but they do. Um, they're doing solids, liquids and gases as well as metals, metals and non-metals. And the properties of metals, and you look here, they are your description yes, of sir. metals in Urdu. Right, this is where their sports kit is. As you can see. Um, oh, PE lesson now. The whole school are doing PE. So. A bit chaotic, but the kids are looking forward to it. I don't know what this is. 
Okay, some tennis balls. Organising this all, look, can you see it? All the boys are doing all of that, organising it. And these, all, these two are very impatient. Kids are in an absolutely amazing time. So it's PE, but what they've done is, because I'm uh, recording them, um, they put on a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a show, shall we say. Um, it's really good, awesome. I'm getting involved as well. Um, so they've got a bit of a, like a, a, bit of a PE session, slash. A bit of sports day as we do on sports day, so they've got loads of bits going on. I'll video what's on there and then I will um I will show you guys exactly what I'm look. It's really it's getting really hot as well. So I'm just standing in the shade. So we're just going um yeah, we're just doing what we're gonna do. Yeah, so I'll show you what they're doing. I think we've got a tug of war next. So they're doing tug of war, the kids are really excited, absolutely amazing. Right, so I'll show you exactly what they're doing. Take a wall, look. Look at him, look at him. There's too many on that side, look, look. They've always joined. <laughs> They've always joined that side. <laughs> They're cheered. They're all cheated, so some of them cheated, they just jumped in. There's some of these kids there, just jumped in. Um, so, uh, I would say they're the winners on the other side. Alright, here we go. Alright, back in lessons. He is over. Break is over. So, um, most of the day is done. It's half day today because it's Friday. Um, the kids are having a snack though, I think they're doing a snack. I'll tell you exactly what a little snack there is, more of a treat than a snack. So, they do charge the kids here. Okay, so what I've agreed with the school is that I'm paying for all the treats and the snacks today. Um, I'm paying for the snacks uh, and the treats. So, um, I'm treating them. Okay, so they don't have nothing to do. I'll show you what the treats and snacks are. So this is little, um, what we got here?